of loan that you give to your to the other third party with stipulated additional amount of repayment that will be regarded as riba understood all right that's what that is the first example riba do you type of card giving out loan in terms of money and asking from the debtor money with additional amount second second the second second example you give out money and you are asking for return but not in the monetary form for example i give to siraj 20000 but i ask him to help me on my assignment okay that is also riba so actually the concept is simple you cannot take advantage in whatever loan you give to the other party in terms of monetary itself or in terms of other types of benefits just like helping me with my assignment all right thirdly i give out something loan but this time it is not money but this time for example i ask my friends here can you give me uh, i want to lend your lend your to borrow your camera video camera for one week so he said okay you can do it with us but uh, you have to uh, uh, to to uh, to pay uh, you have to uh, to take me to cfc and uh, we have uh, you have to uh, you have to be in charge uh, for that night okay you have to pay so that kind of lending borrowing give lend something to the other person and take advantage of that lending is also deemed as riba. Yeah, he, he was to rent it to you. Yeah, that's correct. If you want to rent, there's another topic that is allowable and permissible. So if you want, you ask, I want to borrow from you, you can say, no, 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 no borrowing. If you want to use it, rent from me. That's okay. Permissible. Okay, as simple as that. Yeah. Uh, are all these three uh, Yes, call. Okay. All right, and then uh, the other thing is just like uh, you have a motorcycle or you have a car. I want to borrow your car, so you cannot say to the borrower, "Okay, you have to uh, return back my car, but you have to ensure that the fuel is full." You know. <laughs> okay. You cannot say that because that will be deemed as riba. But if you want to say, no, I, I will not lend it to you for free, I will uh, just rent it to you, then it's okay for you to make such uh, uh, conditions. Okay? Why that kind of simple arrangement from borrowing to renting? This one is haram, this one is halal. Why? Because from the eye of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for those who give out loans and give out uh, lend something without any additional interest that will entitle you to 18 times of rewards from the eyes of Allah that is mentioned in the hadith of Ibn Majah eh? the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw that uh, those who give out loans without interest will get 18 times of uh, rewards multiple into 18 times but those who give up sadaqah will be multiplied to 10 times so the prophet asked uh, jibril salam, why is that happened so the jibril, jibril uh, responds that those who give out loans is actually uh, uh, able to get uh, the rewards from uh, helping the friends helping his brother who is in need okay while when you give up sadaqah for example maybe the person is not in need at that particular time all right as compared to those who are asking asking because if you want if a person asking for something he already face embarrassment you know okay if you are uh, embarrassment so if you reject that kind of uh, 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 that kind of uh, uh, Yes, asking. So it will be double embarrassment to the to the to the person. So that is riba duyun type of car. Like if 
bought a car. And somebody borrowed my car. Yeah. And I said to him, could you please put some petrol in? Yeah. This would be a company. Yes. Except that you said to him, please be, please make sure that the petrol is at the same level. Oh. Right? Same level. So half of that, please make sure half. But what about uh, the tires? You know, the tire will be a little bit thinner. <laughs> you cannot quantify that. That will be in the hereafter, the reward. What about the difficulty? Because the, 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 the person already borrow your car, so you cannot use your car. That kind of difficulty will be rewarded in the hereafter. So that's why 18 times, multiplied to 18 times. Okay? So that is Riba Duyun. So that is the concept. Now we want to know Riba Duyun. So in order for us to further understand this topic, now we have understand a little bit about Riba Duyun in terms of its concept. Now, where is Riba Duyun in this uh, modern financial times there are a lot of them first of all first of all your credit card <laughs> your credit card okay do you have any credit card <laughs> oh this is this difficult no no this is difficult you know, most of people most of them they have this kind of cards you know this evil card why? Because credit card, in order for a bank to issue a credit card, firstly, you do not have to have any money in the bank. As easy as that. Okay? But the bank will ask you about your income, monthly income. So after make an, uh, make a, a thorough assessment on your, on your income, say that the bank approve your application, so the bank will issue a credit card to you either Visa or MasterCard, whatever it is. And then, the, with the card, what happens is that the bank will also uh, uh, mention clearly in the statement that you are entitled for a certain amount of credit limit, you know, 10 to uh, 40,000 crown, for example, or 100,000 crown. That kind of credit limit is actually a loan. Why? Because you are not using your own money. Because you do not possess any money in the bank. So you obtain the card, the plastic card, without any money in the particular bank. And then, yet you are able to go to Tesco, purchasing any goods, anything. And then you give this plastic card to the cashier. So, then finish. So who are paying for you? The bank, actually. The bank. Wow, the bank is good or not? paying for you yes but you have to repay back to the bank with interest if you have you fail to make the repayment in full in one month two months for example and the bank this bank the issuer encourage yourself not to pay in full in that particular month that is their strategy you know because they know the weakness of the people this is all uh, making makes fun of, of, of the people's desires, the unlimited desires, just like pornography, just like uh, prostitution, all of these businesses making fun and make a lot of uh, 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 income from the people's unlimited desires, just like credit card, because they know that you are love to spend, but you are very difficult in order to repay back the the, 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 the amount. Okay? So what happened is that you are not encouraged by the bank to pay in full. For that reason, the bank only said to you, you can uh, just pay 1% of any amount that you have spent and the rest, just leave it with us. Just leave it with us. But for those who is uh, who maybe forgot about that amount, beginning from the second month, there will be ten percent of interest. Ten percent of interest will be imposed on your account, and the the amount is also compounding. You know, compounding. Uh, I will 
touch on that later on but compounding for those who already understand alhamdulillah good compounding it's very very evil you know yes an issue to do with cars um, maybe the British people can, can agree but um, we have a car from England and my bank account is in England uh, every time I take money they charge me 2% 3% for taking this money from the, the cash machine here okay is this right or wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, that type of uh, charge is the different types. Uh, but in principle, that kind of, uh, regardless of the bank, maybe the bank is not an Islamic bank, but regardless of that, that kind of charges is permissible because there is service charges. So in Islam, in order for you to take any amount of money as your income and earnings, you must have a clear reason. Clear reason. Why? So in that particular cases, the bank is taking the charges from its services. Okay. So if you got you good your your good self also you, uh, you 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 put your service you you for example you are helping somebody in order to set up uh, any uh, any any programs you can get money from that because that is your services. All right. That is different type of charges here. Yeah. On time. On time. Yes. All right. That is uh, that. That is one of uh, the most popular question actually. All right. We have a credit card. We have limit credit limit, and also we have uh, this one month time. If you full settle in full in that kind that that, that month, you will not be imposed uh, uh, any extra interest. Okay. So is it permissible? OIC International Free Academy discussed twice about this one. In, in their first resolution, they said, yes, it is permissible. But in their second, they revised their fatwa. Okay? They said no. Do you know why? Huh? Because, firstly, there are a lot of alternative. There is alternative. Because there is debit card, there is charge card. It's better than credit card. Secondly, even though you are not contributing anything in terms of uh, direct uh, interest payment to the issuer of the card, but you already support the industry by why? why? How? Because when you purchase something from Tesco, for example, Tesco will pay 2% of the amount of of what you spend to the credit card issuer. That is standard for all the credit cards issued by all companies. Okay? So when, when whenever you are purchasing by using the credit card, meaning you are supporting the, 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 the bad business. Okay? For those who want to use the card to ease their transaction, do not use credit card. In order if you want to pay in full every month without supporting the the, the, the the bad business, you have to subscribe to charge card. What is the charge card? Charge card is the card issued just like credit card, but the difference is that the backbone, backbone business of the charge card is they are lending money to you with the condition that you have to repay in full every month. So their backbone condition is permissible from the Islamic perspective. But the credit card, their, 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 their core uh, uh, conditions and their core rulings, their core, uh, what we call uh, tenets, you know tenets? Uh, yeah, tenets, and the cornerstone is not permissible from the eyes of Islam. All right? So that is credit card. That is riba duyun type of card as well. Yeah. And going back to the borrowing card issue, mm -hmm. like, like say the borrower, after he finish borrowing our car, he come back and return our car with full petrol or maybe give some money. How, how it, Good question. Possible? Okay, what if that happen and you are not asking your friends to do that, but he voluntarily do that? That is permissible, not only permissible, rewarded from the perspective of Islam, 
because the Prophet 